Ladies and gentlemen, it's Regenesis back for round two of Revelation Online. Still just kind of messing around, playing with some of the gameplay mechanics, and wanted to bring you guys along for the trip. As I mentioned before, you do have a an option for wings, and I'm glad that they give those to the players, and it's not a, necessarily a cash shop item. There may be some that are more exquisite or have different things, but... Uh, it's really nice to get these once you get to a certain level in the game. I think it's early on, around 20 to 25. But as you can see, it's a pretty expansive world. And you've got the option to fly and, and do your thing. Um, really really enjoy the, the fast speed. But as you get down lower, some of the graphic quality in the game is really good. Uh, like these fields are they're pretty impressive with how detailed they are, really pretty colors. And I'm going to see if I can find... What's this? Oh, cool. Plant foraging. Haven't seen that just yet, so... Nice. Guess I can do it again on the same one. I don't know where I'm getting all these diligence points and let me see if I can find that I'm gonna go into my character and inventory screens let's see as you can see there is tons to do in this game so a little overwhelming at first, to be honest. But that's okay. I just want to show you guys the world. It kind of let you travel along with me and figure it out. If you already are like a, a really good player at this game, you're probably like, dude, you have no idea what you're doing. And you're right, I don't. Just jumping in to see if it's something that's fun, and so far I would say, yeah, it's fun. That type of action reminds me a lot of Blade and Soul, which I really enjoyed that. Let's see what... Catch Fireflies. The next phase will... Oh, must, must be a timed event or something. All right. That's alright. I'm just going to do a little exploring. Put my wings on. Let's see if I can do some normal flying here and see what's available. Ooh, radiant stags. Not sure what level those are. Starlight bugs. Let me drop out of this form and see. I guess you just fight these dudes. They're not too tough. Got some coconut milk off those dudes. This is just one or two here. Got another coconut milk. And those are... Let me see if I can find out. Oh, here we go. So instantly recovers 800 mana, cooldown is 30 seconds. So I don't think it's necessarily a um, something that I want to mess with right now. Not really a mana based class. What is this? I don't even want to mess with that. One thing I will do though is go to my screen. I'm not sure how to get to this one, but I'm going to go back to Darkfall. 
And I'm going to see if I can get in an instance this time just to show you what that looks like, what the loot drops look like. Because I've noticed on those daily ones, the daily dungeons, that you can go through. And especially if, if you're with a party, you're going to get decent experience. It's fast. Typically, they'll run and let the enemies kite to you in big mobs, at least on this Dark Fall dungeon. And then you can take them out. Then it's pretty much a sprint to the end, a couple mini elites on the way. And then you're basically in to the boss, which if you have a high level character on your team, you can make short order of, that's for sure. All right. Let me drop out of this form. I'm going to go into easy and see if it will hook me up with a group pretty quickly. All right. So far, it's just one out of five. It's just me. So I'm going to run around while that's doing that. I don't know what those do. They could just be for decorative purposes here. I would like to find my stash and get rid of that. I can't remember where that was. There was a certain way that you find it. You had to search for something. Let me see if I can locate it. Uh, I believe it was in the town. Looks like I've got a quest that can be completed there, so I'll head there first. Definitely digging the auto pathing. That is awesome. Kind of creepy to see so many wings around though. Like that right there looks like a big hot mess. Looks like a couple uh, berserk chickens or some kind of weird plastic melting scene or something. Weird. Okay. I did something right. Alright. What is next? I'm not going back to the sunken gal. Am I in a guild? I don't even know. I could be. I did apply for one earlier. Part of a quest. Open the mythos panel. see that learn how to fish except all right take me to the fishing dude I'd like to see what that looks like I typically enjoy the fishing mini games, so hopefully this one won't disappoint. I've heard good things about it. I also like the away from computer or away from keyboard fishing options that are in some games like Black Desert Online, for example. You can just set it and leave it. This 
might be the... This looks like it's like a, very similar to the beginning of the game. I think it's a different beach, but very similar. And there he is. Let's get started. In fishing at the most basic level, it can provide you with raw cooking ingredients. Okay. Can you see that shop selling fishing gear not far from where we are? I don't know. Maybe. Go and buy a complete fishing set for beginners. Well, I hope I have enough. Organization gift. Oh, wow, what was that? For each commerce center cash you donate, your guild funds will be increased by 10,000 imperial notes. Donate to increase guild funds. Donate these to receive fealty. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. Alright, let's see what you got, man. I don't have fishing apprentice. I don't have anything. Let me go back and try it again. A bait pack. He said something about like uh maybe this is it. It is highlighting this, so fifty thousand. No. That's not happening today. What? Put that there. Tribute. All right. Whatever that was. There's some more organization gift. That's weird. <clears throat> At least we'll be able to jump around in here a little bit, do a little damage, do a little dance. All right, let's jump in on this one. I'm getting Imperial notes from it, so I'm down with that. Maybe these beaches are loaded with this stuff. I don't know. Paper ball? That's weird. There's another one. It's giving me Imperial notes, which is cool. Like, I got 199 from that, so... Old turtle. Can't hurt him. What are these? Yeah, I'm still waiting. I'll wait. Mastery is full. You can upgrade skills. Retribution, upgrade. Yes. Get reward. 300 Imperial notes. Nice. Get 
getting imperial notes from those. That's weird. Not really any XP per se. Let me do this. I'm gonna try to donate these. See if I can find a little bit about my guild. Guild. All right, welcome to our family. If you're just stopping by for dailies, who? Oh, guild special skill training once a day is up to sixty fifty for free training. Members, where am I at? Gotta be on there somewhere. Man, look at all these high levels. These guys are hardcore, man. I guess they're not too high. Management, war. Lots to do there, too. Let me jump in my wings again I do not see any more of those boxes let me go down here It's just weird that those boxes were just out there. Maybe there are certain places where they populate. I don't know. There's one. Let's get that one. I like that they give me Imperial Notes as well, because I've only got 4,151 of those. Where to next? See that, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it did say that it used 14 just to do that warp. So they're taking those away. So there is a cost for the fast travel. Seems pretty, pretty minimal. But like what it did is it just brought me right back out here. There better be some more of those containers. Or else. They must just spawn every now and then. Going up here. It's really cool. Whatever this is, I'm going to find out. Open the life skills interface and head to the arcane arts to start learning. Ah, okay. How many do I have? I have 130. And I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, later. So I can't. The life skills interface and head to the arcane arts. Arcane arts. Learning. All right, we'll try one more time. Open the 
the life skills interface and head to the arcane arts to start learning. Arcane arts. Yeah, I'm not real sure how to do that stuff yet. That's all right. I wonder what my group looks like. Group. Yeah, it looks like it's all two to five there. Try one more time. Uh, I have to leave my group first. It's an interesting system. Oh, I'm not in a group. Why did it say that? I'm not in a group. Weird. Raid, Darkfall, and... Weird, man. Weird. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, man. <laughs> I did joining failed, really? Maybe they're already in there. Maybe it's just two of them or something. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Eliminating small animals. Will give me a prototype inventory robo dog. Cannot sell, you cannot block, cannot be returned. I have no interest. I'm surprised there aren't more people online because for those dungeons because when I tried, I did play a little bit yesterday and it was not a problem to get in at all. Daily. I'm going to try that. And while I'm auto-pathing, take a look at my character screen. Not really familiar with this, so. Costume. I have no costume. Path. Oh. Let's see. Do I have... Character level is 29. Not sure. Lots of stuff to figure out about this game. I do like the mini map on the right. You guys can see that. How it just paths you to it. And those green X exclamation marks are probably quests and I have typically that's what they are in MMOs I haven't even really clicked on those yet I've pretty much just been going after the story mode stuff so that would be the yellow or green check marks that pop up
Another thing I see often in this game is it gives you options on how to improve your performance. So in towns where there are a lot of people present, sometimes it'll say press F10 to remove other players so that it increases your uh, frame rate, basically, your performance on your PC. So that's something to keep in mind, too. If you do jump, jump into the game and you're having trouble with frame rates or some type of issue with stuttering, sometimes it's not the lag. It's actually just the sheer number of people and graphical requirements. Too many polygons on the screen at one time. So something to keep in the back of your mind. As always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching. Hope it gives you a little more information about Revelation Online. And through this video, I hope you will be able to find out if this is something you want to check out or not. As always, hope you guys have fun gaming. Please be sure to make time for faith, family, and friends, and I'll see you guys in-game.